My name is Ian Bokan, I'm 11 years old and I attend Marion Academy. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I believe I could be whatever I want. I, like most students, I've been studying my notes and my mom's been giving me past papers to do. My name is Davina Mahes. I am 10 years old and I attend Camus Academy. I would like to become the president of Guyana. I have been taking extra classes and I have been studying a lot. Cause it looks fun and it looks like a challenge and I love challenges. My name is Aiden Alexander Prasad. I am 11 years old and I attend School of the Nations. I would like to be a cardiologist. Well, I have been putting all the notes that I don't understand in this little book and been studying it for the past couple of months. Welcome to WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I am your host, Ramona Luti, and today we've gathered some, well, another set of the brightest and sharpest minds from across Guyana to test their knowledge in core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. Let's get ready for a fun-filled show of challenging questions and thrilling competition. But remember, we're not just testing their knowledge, we're also testing their speed. Let's get ready to meet our contestants and see who will advance to the semi-finals to compete for the title of WizKids Champion 2023. Contestant number one, tell us about yourself. My name is Egan Bulkan. I'm 11 years old and I attend Marion Academy. Welcome. Contestant number two. My name is Tafina Mahes. I'm 10 years old and I attend Camels Academy. All right. Contestant number three. My name is Aiden Prasad. I'm 11 years old and I attend School of the Nations. Awesome. All right, so let's get straight into it. So let's start with English, please. What word means the same as the one underlined in the following sentence? Mark worries that there is not too much time to do what is important in his life. Contestant number three. Necessary. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I would like social studies. Ram's parents refuse to send him to school. Of which right is Ram being deprived? A right to contestant number three. Have education. That's correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Uh, science. The aorta and tricuspid valve are a part of which body system? Contestant number two. It is a part of the circulatory system. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English, please. What is the correct form of the verb to complete the following sentence? Dairy something, the name of the village where my school can be found. Contestant number one is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, I'd like to stay, go to science. What gas is used to release energy from food during respiration? Contestant number two. Carbon dioxide. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. That would be oxygen. All right, let's go to mathematics, please. The number 2,865 rounded to the nearest hundred is, contestant number three. 2,900. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, social studies. List the four founding members of CARICOM. Contestant number two. Guyana, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago. Um, did I say Jamaica? Yes, you did. Hey, no, not Haiti. Mm -hmm. King, not Kingston. All right, so time's up. <laughs> for that question um you got the three correct however the last one would have been barbados all right yes miss all right good attempt let's go to science please list three renewable energy sources contestant number two the sun wind and water that is correct go ahead and select your next category please english what is the tense of the underlined verb in the sentence? 
the housewife goes to the bakery to buy fresh bread. Contestant number one. Presidents. That's correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, science. Suggest one method by which a nail can be magnetized. Contestant number three. By rubbing it, by rubbing it on a magnet for a that long That is correct. Time. Stroking. All right. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I would like social studies. Guyana has some grinding sugar estates. In which natural region are they found? Contestant number three. In the low coastal plain. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Oh, science. Which planet is found between Venus and Mars? Contestant number one. Um, Earth? That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, mathematics. The ratio of 500 ml to 2 liters is? Contestant number three. Two to two. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It will be one to four. Proceed to social studies, please. Fort Zealandia in Guyana was established by which traders in the colonial era? Contestant number one. Dutch. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, English. What is the meaning of the sentence below? Let sleeping dogs lie. Contestant number two. Let sleeping dogs lie mean... Don't worry about <laughs> oh, not necessarily. The correct answer would have been not to dwell too much on misfortunes or just let it be. All right? So let's proceed to science, please. The retina in the eyes is made up of two types of photoreceptors. Name them. Contestant number two. The eye, no. The photoreceptors, name them. Retina? Uh, no, that's not really second. So unfortunately, time is up. The answer would have been rods and cones. All right, let's proceed to mathematics, please. The simplest form of 16 over 24 is contestant number two. 16 over 24? Two thirds? That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English, please. What is the most suitable word or words to replace the underlined phrase in the sentence below? The vase Miss Passaud bought cannot be broken so easily. Contestant number one. Um. Indestructible? We're talking about a vase, so unfortunately I won't be able to accept that answer. But an appropriate answer would have been is sturdy. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. Mina divides a number by two. She then divides the answer by two. This is the same as dividing the original number by number two. Five? That is incorrect. The correct answer would have been four. four. All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. What links the East Bank of Demerara to the West Bank of Demerara? Contestant number three. The Demerara River Bridge. I'm sorry, I won't be able to accept that answer, but I know what you mean. It should have been the Demerara Harbor Bridge. All right, let's proceed to science, please. What is the strongest and biggest bone in the human body? Contestant number three. The femur. That is correct. Or the thigh bone. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, let's see. So, sorry. Wearing a seatbelt is a something rule. Contestant number one. Safety rule. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, I like to say in social studies. What instrument serves as the symbol of the speaker's authority in the National Assembly? Contestant number three. The speaker's mace. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, Matt. Jimmy had 130 beads. 
He gave away 65 to his friends. How many beads were left? Contestant number three. Six five? That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. And uh, stay in match. John has stamps from different countries. One third of them are stamps from India. If he has 36 Indian stamps, how many stamps does he have in total? Contestant number one. 48. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We're asking for the total, so the answer would have been 108. Let's proceed to English, please. What is the part of speech of the underlined word in the sentence? We divided the sweets among our three friends. Contestant number one. Conjunction. That is incorrect. The answer would have been a preposition. All right. Let's proceed to social studies, please. Name two weather patterns that are associated with greenhouse gases. Contestant number three. Miss Wind and Rain. That is correct. What we were actually looking for though was a categorized version, so we could have accepted El Nino or El La Nina as well. All right, so go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, science. Why does Guyana experience dry and wet climates? Contestant number one. Because we're close to the equator. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, mathematics. How many months are there in a century? Contestant number three. What? 120. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. 1200 would have been the answer. Remember, oh. we're looking for the months in a I century. Tell the decade. Let's proceed to English, please. What is the word that means the same as the underlined word in the sentence? The timid boy refused to speak to the stranger. Contestant number three. Shy. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. True or false? Studying for exams is not a leisure time activity. That's number two. True. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English, please. What is the most appropriate adjective to complete the following sentence? My grandmother is very something, so she walks slowly up the stairs. Contestant number two. Old? That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. What is the meaning of the sentence below? One man's meat is another man's poison. Contestant number two. One man's meat is another man's poisonous? You can't trust people? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's basically saying that what one person might not appreciate, another person will. All right, so let's go to mathematics, please. The sum of any three angles of a rectangle is something degree. That's number two. Of any three angles, 180 degrees? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Any three angles of a rectangle would be 270 degrees. Okay. All right, let's proceed to science, please. In which body system would you find the aorta? Contestant number two. The circulatory system. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English? This is the last English question. What is the most suitable word or words to replace the underlined phrase in the sentence below? Deborah bought a book that gives information on many subjects. Contestant number two. A dictionary? That is incorrect. The answer we were looking for is an encyclopedia. All right. Yes, miss. All right. So that was the last question for the English category. So we now have science, social studies and mathematics available. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. The next prime number after seven is? That's the number two. After seven, 11. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. Social studies. All right. So this is the last question for the social studies category. What is the oldest and most fundamental of human institutions in society? Contestant number two. Mm, of the oldest and most fundamental of human institutions in society. School? School? <laughs> I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been the family. All right, 
So social studies has been exhausted. We now have science and mathematics available. Let's proceed to the last science question. True or false? The moon produces its own light. That's number two. True. That is incorrect. The moon does not produce its own light. It reflects off of the sun. All right. So the last question for the game is mathematics. Tray fifth of 100 is contestant number three. Six. That is correct. So based on the scores, the winner of this episode is Aiden Prasad with 55 points. In second place, we have Davina. And in third place, we have Egan. For those of you who are yet to appear on the show, remain motivated and continue studying. I am Ramona Luti. Thank you for tuning in. Well, I feel happier than before that I won, than rather than nervous trying to compete. <laughs>